Susie. Did you get snow in Illinois? I didn't tell the girls I'm going live, so then they send on the group text, hey, Nancy's live. Hi, Chow. Hi, Sandy. This is going to be a super quick live because I have folks coming over to see Leah. They got their kids. They want to they want sled. Hi, Pam. Yay, I'm so happy. Susie said just flurry. We have like five inches of snow outside. Yeah. Not fun. All right, so while everybody's jumping on, this is my brand new glimmer. Um, finally showed up today, but I wanted to do a quick video on using the Pink Fresh Studios hot foil plate with the glimmer and um you know what's going to be what what are some tips and tricks i have to that and if you guys want one on the gemini foil press i can do that one later but right now i'm cutting up some hammer mill 100 pound premium color cardstock which is still on back order amazon was supposed to drop mine off a week ago, then they sent me a delay notice, and now they've sent me a second delay notice. So I'm going to give you another option, which is a little bit more costly option, but it works better. And I think you guys will appreciate that a little more. And you've seen me do a video on this before, which is the Spellbinders Glimmer Specialty Cardstock, which basically is Yupo paper. Um, there's also a cheaper alternative if you go with. Was it Marcos? Uh, hold on, I'll show you guys. Okay. So we have Marcos Craft Plastic Film, which is pretty similar. So I'm going to cut all of these down and show you what's going to work best when you're doing your negative or waste foiling. Okay. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Elda. Hey, Yvonne. Welcome, everybody. We are in snowy Pennsylvania. We have about five inches of snow. I'm just going to put that with that so I know what it was. What? And I want you to, guys to have success with your solid foil plate. So that's what we're going to work on today. And this will be really quick because as soon as my friends show up, I'm going to have to jump off. I know. How dare I have real life friends? Oh, I went to see my friend Kim today, who is like my biggest crafty friend when it comes. Like she is so hands-on crafty. And um, she had bought some Stampin' Up! products for me. So I just went to deliver them. And she gave me this um, scenery. She made me this scenery set with trees and little houses all out of like Tim Holt stuff and I'm just blown away by her creativity. So we're gonna use Hammer Mill 100 pound premium color cardstock. I will link everything for you guys in the description. We're gonna use Marco's Paper Craft Plastic Film from Graphics. And this was, I wanna say, oops, $7.99, okay? And we're also gonna use Spellbinders Card Shop Essentials Glimmer Specialty Cardstock. Um, which was $24.99, but I think you can get a 10 sheet too, which is a little bit cheaper. Um, the hammer mill is the hardest to find, but you'll find that these synthetic papers are going to transfer better when you're doing your waste foils. So I want to show that to you. Okay, so I do have my brand new glimmer. I have the Pink Fresh Studio solid foil plate inside there. And we're going to find somewhere on this super clean desk of mine, I saved my waste foils. I just made a whole bunch of cards yesterday. I did, I had such a creative day, you guys. You would all be so proud of me. The question is, where did I put my waste foils? Ah, here they are. Okay, 
So we have four that are hot foils. All right. So in case you guys didn't know, Spellbinders had a little sale on their Glimmer products. And so if you haven't gone shopping, I don't know. If, I think the sale is until today, right? I'll have to double check. But I got these cute little hearts. So played with those. All right. Let's get into this. So Pink Fresh Studios is new to the foiling game. They're taking it by storm. They have a lot of beautiful, beautiful plates. Um, and they have matching stamps and matching dies. And so I do have the chevron. I have the diamond. And then here we have the solid plate. So the idea behind this solid plate, and by the way, I do have an unboxing video on how I take my plates together. It's all uploading right now, so you'll get that later today. Is... You're going to take your waste foil or negative foil, whatever you want to call it, from your hot foiling system. You don't want to use your deco foil, transfer foil, toner foils, none of those. This has to be your hot foiling, okay? Then you're going to grab your paper, and I'm going to start with the hammer mill. And you're going to put that on there. If your machine needs a shim, and a lot of times these machines need a shim, at that point you're going to put the shim on there. Um, because we are trying to get over foiling, the name of the game is to press all of this onto there. I am going to add a shim onto mine. I'm just going to cut this black card in half. And I'm just going to let the timer go and heat that up. It takes a minute. And all I'm doing is taking thick cardstock here, cutting it in half, and it will be my shim. Normally, I use a piece of junk mail, but I just clean my whole desk. I don't have any junk mail on my desk right now. I know, Jennifer. I can't wait to get that waffle flower plate now. All right. So, I'm going to bring my platinum die cutting machine. Hello, Cheryl. Susie got her junk mail too. Child's link in the links. Hi, Gila. Hi, Carly. All right. So once the timer is done blinking, I know you guys can't see it. It's off camera. I'll let you know and I'll pull it in. So what I did find out, and if you watch my unboxing video, you'll get the details is the platform, my heating platform, this part here went bad on my old Glimmer. So the new, um, the new platform works in the old Glimmer. This Glimmer is way tighter than my old one too. <laughs> much thicker. I think the new ones are much thicker. May not have needed a shim. I did not put the shim in there, so definitely didn't need the shim. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. No shim. Super tight. Okay. So the idea here, oh yeah, I think that worked beautifully, is, let's scrape this off of here. My new plates are going to get foiled, you guys, while we're waiting for that. We're going to move on to that. We're going to let the next one heat up. And for this one, we're going to use a piece of Spellbinder specialty card stock. All right, so we're going to let that heat up. Let's reveal. This is the Hammer Mill 100 pound, no shims. Let's see how this reveals. Ooh, got a little underfoiling on the edge there. That's okay. This set comes with a heart die. So it's the Glimmer of the Month January 2021 Calligraphy Hearts. It was on sale. I don't know if Spellbinders is still running the sale today, but I can show you here is what it looked like when I foiled it and I can use the hearts to cut that out and here is the negative and I can also use the hearts to cut that out so to me this is a win because this is foiled just the edge got missed a little bit there so I'm very pleased with that 
And this finally goes in the garbage. Okay, so let's see. The next one is on the specialty paper. Hi, Pam. Welcome to our channel. Uh, Pam, I do a lot with foiling, toner foiling, hot foiling. I have an unboxing video coming up. I got a brand new glimmer. So keep an eye out. Make sure you're subscribed. That'll come up this afternoon. So this is this is good. This makes me happy. I have not made my children Valentine's cards yet. So guess what I'll be doing this afternoon? Although I think they only care about chocolate. <laughs> All right. So the advantage to the Spellbinders Glimmer is it will work in most of your die cutting systems. So the Big Shot by Sizzix, the Big Kick, the new Switch from what I've heard. Um, this is the Spellbinders Platinum 6, the new teal one, but it works in the old Spellbinders Platinum. It works in the Vagabond. It does not work in the Anna Griffin Empress, and it does not work in the Gemini or Gemini Junior. So if you have any of those die cutting machines, you'll have to go with a different hot foiling system. But the Spellbinders Glimmer will work in any of these die cutting systems, and that's what's going to determine what's going to work best for you. Um, in my unboxing video, I do show you guys as well how I taped my plates together. That makes it easier for me so I don't get any shifting on my hot foil dies. So I don't get any kind of double foiling. So we're running this one through. And this is the Spellbinder Specialty Paper. And again, we're focusing on foiling the waste using the Pink Fresh Studios Hot Foil Solid Plate. Pam, if you um, have not joined my Facebook group, it is called the Foiling Snobs Club. Check us out on Facebook. Uh, we give a lot more information on there as well. Okay, so for the last one, we're going to go on with Marco's Craft paper for this. Let me get it out of the packaging. Okay. And for all of my friends that are in the Foiling Snobs Club that participated in the swap for this month, card swap, uh, your February birthday cards have been mailed. So happy birthday to all my February friends. And your birthday card from me is on the way. Okay, so we're going to let that warm up while we reveal this one. And this one was Spellbinders Specialty. All right, so let's see how this one looks. Wow. You could not ask for any better foiling, you guys. Wow. Again, a little bit of underfoiling the edges, but I make my sheets larger. This is five and a half by four and a quarter. So there's a reason I make it a little bigger. I always tell you guys, make it a little bigger so you can cut it down. So if we go five and a quarter, this paper really cuts super smooth too. By four. What underfoiled edges? Ah, oh, very happy. Very, very happy. Okay, we are ready over here. So the last test is with the Marcos paper, which is much cheaper. I know, Melissa, right? It never gets old. So I wanted to give you guys the options here on different papers you can use to get the best results, but also how that Pink Fresh Studios solid plate works. I know a lot of people have had issues with it, so I'm going to say, number one, 
check your paper and number two check your shims it should be tighter than when you're doing hot foiling so if you're doing your regular hot foiling and you don't need a shim you may need a shim when you're transferring to the pink fresh studio solid plate if you use one shim when you're doing your hot foiling you might need two shims when you're doing the solid plate but i would say paper really makes a difference when it comes to getting that full release and the synthetic papers do work really well i know they're more expensive which is why i have the the marcos option here for you guys but there is a reason why they work better and that's because they are ultra smooth and so when they're that smooth it really forces the foil to stick well because there's no um porous surface now again you can hot foil on anything you can hot foil on glitter card you can hot foil on a uh, pearlescent card you know any color it's not the as picky as toner foiling is toner foiling you really got to have precise paper but this hot foiling system is more forgiving but when it comes to this solid plate i think a lot of you guys struggle because you're trying to use regular paper and the regular paper just when you're trying to get that whole image solid foiled um you got to go to a specialty paper to really get good results there so this is the marcos graphics class craft plastic and again we have awesome foiling okay and this is the goal the goal is to get this as clean as possible to have as little waste as possible so we are done with that. And just to prove my point, I am going to do the black cardstock only because it's sitting here. And I have one more waste foil here. So we're going to cut this down. Now this is heavy duty. I think this is Michael's. I think this is Recollections brand, 100 pound, super heavy duty. We have one more piece of waste foil. Let's use it up. Again, going in with the colored side down on my plate. We want the adhesive side of the foil up, which is the matte side. And I'm going to use this black cardstock on this one. And we'll see how well this does. I don't know if it's going to be as well or not, just because it's more porous. But let's not judge it until we see how it comes out. And I'm not going to add a shim. So we're going to give that a second. And this was the Marcos. Can you foil on wood? You can. You can foil on um, fabric. You can foil on ribbon. You can foil on burlap. You can foil on wood. As long as it fits through your die cutting system. So what that means is if your wood chip pieces are too thick, they may not fit through your die cutting system. So that's what you have to be careful of. Um, with that so here we've used the hammer mill hundred pound which you guys know is is my go-to if you can find it it is on back order right now it's very difficult um, I've ordered it and it's been pushed off three times now so I'm just waiting for that to come in I will let you guys know when it comes back in stock and then we've used the craft plastic Marcos graphics and the spellbinders um, I will say and I think I said this when I did it the first time is the Spellbinders is much more shinier and smoother. The Marcos Craft Plastic, there is a little bit of a haze, I would say. It's very difficult to notice, and yet unless you are like me and you do foiling 100 times a day every day. So for the price difference, you, everybody has a different budget. The Spellbinders, you get... 25 sheets of eight and a half by 11. This is 76 pounds synthetic cardstock, which is the same as Yupo paper. It's $24.99. I do believe they have a smaller package of only 10 sheets, which will be a little bit cheaper. Or you can go on marcos.com and marcos paper craft plastic film from graphics. This is a nine by 12, 10 milliliter. You get 10 sheets in here for $7.99. I don't have an affiliate with Marcos. So I'll link the link for you guys. Um, certainly, if you place your order and say Nancy sent me, that would be appreciative. Um, but for Spellbinders, I do have a link. If you guys could please use my Spellbinders link if there's anything here that you're getting tonight that's from Spellbinders. All right. And let's do the black and see what it looks like. Hey, Corinne! How are you? Okay. Let's 
see how the black does. And like I said, this is a really quick live today only because I have some friends coming over and uh, I just wanted, I was so excited when the glimmer showed up that I had to show you guys. And then I'll probably jump back on later tonight for you guys because we got to pick a 24,000, 24,000 subscriber giveaway winner. What? Thank you guys. I'm so honored to have you guys. You guys are just amazing. I have the best subscribers, friends, crafty community. I cannot complain at all. All right. I'm just using my tweezers here. Oh, we got some, some foil. And again, if this happens, a little bit of acetone. You don't want to use regular fingernail polish remover because regular fingernail polish remover has um, conditioners in it, which will cause a haze or a film on your plate. So if you foil your plates or you foil your hot foil dies, that's perfectly normal. We've all done it. it, done it. It's a rite of passage in order to learn foiling. Um, but you can just take a little bit of 100% acetone, which is really inexpensive. You can get it at the local drugstore. I have this bottle here from Walmart. Uh, nail polish remover, 100% acetone. This is a small six ounce. I think it was a dollar. And I keep this just for cleaning up my foiling, whether it's toner foiling or hot foiling. Um, it happens. It just shows, hey, you're using machines. So for those of you guys that have your machine sitting in the corner of your craft room for a year or two years, or you just got it for Christmas, it is time to crack it open. All right, so here we go. Let's see how this does on black. And one of the things you can do is a corner test too, is as you pull the corner, generally if it's good, it's probably gonna stay good. But if you start to pull this, notice how I'm taking my time and do it slowly. And you notice, oh my gosh, the foil didn't stick. Cover it back up, put it back in the machine, put a shim on it and foil it again. Don't continue to pull the plastic off, the film off and then give up. You can always go in and reheat it and add more pressure and force that foil on there but wow look at you guys on black cardstock regular recollections clean as can be now I will say you guys have seen my foiling videos the new glimmer is much tighter I think it's a thicker platform or thicker plates so it is much tighter than my old one my old one is kind of loosey-goosey and I had to put an extra shim in there but wow wow I am super impressed I was very skeptical about getting the solid plate I didn't buy the solid plate Stacy and Tracy and Chow bought it for me for my birthday so um you know, I know there's alternatives out there, but the price has dropped down to close to 20 bucks on that thing. So let me put that in a link for you guys. If you can get it at that price, when it first came out, it was $35 and I was not going to waste $35 on a hot foil plate. So um, I'm also going to put for you guys my Amazon link here. And I've put, yeah, it's $20.88 right now. So let me put that up there for you guys. My Amazon shop has in the hot foiling folder all of the other plates as well. So if you are interested in the diamond plate or the chevron plate, those are all in my hot foil shop as well. Um, when you go through my Amazon shop, it does not cost you anything extra. I do get a small commission from Amazon. Um, it's very small, <laughs> but it adds up. But they have the, just to show you guys here, they have the Alpha Hot Foil Plates, the Folk Garden Hot Foil Plate. That one's only $17 right now. The Diagonal Plate is $20. Abstract Triangles, $23. Uh, Bougainville, Bo Bougainville Print, $20. Um, Folk Art Birds, the Small Butterflies, the Dyes for the Small Butterflies. So those are all in my Hot Foil folder if you are interested go check those out uh, but everything else is from spellbinders and i'll link all of the uh, papers for you guys all right anything else that i can answer for you guys while you're here look at chow she is getting those uh 
She's getting the, she's on troll patrol. I messed that one up. Sorry. Julie, get your foil press out. Play with it. Works the same way. All right. Well, thank you guys for jumping on. I'll put the Spellbinders link down below for you guys. I'll put the Amazon link down below for you guys. Um, I'm very, very happy with this. And definitely we'll be doing some more foiling videos for you guys. And if you had fun, click the thumbs up. And like I said, there's a whole bunch of other hot foiling videos in my playlist for you guys to watch. Bye. Join us over at Foiling Snobs Club on Facebook if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys later.